Hi everyone, I'm Miss Megan and I am so excited to show you all sorts of fun crafts this year at Vacation Bible School. Since we're going to be learning about Noah's Ark, the first craft we're going to be making is a rain stick. And if you remember in the story of Noah, God told Noah to build a large boat called an ark because there was going to be a lot of rain that was going to cause a flood. So for today's craft, we're going to learn how to make a rain stick. To make a rain stick, you're going to need a paper towel tube, a pair of scissors, two pieces of paper in whatever colors you would like, some aluminum foil, some packing tape or duct tape, just some really heavy duty tape, some markers, crayons, or colored pencils to decorate with, and then you'll need either some rice or popcorn kernels or some dry beans to make the sound of the rain. So I have a cup of rice and a cup of popcorn kernels I'm going to use in my rice stick. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take one piece of your paper and you're going to cut out two squares that are about four inches by four inches each. So you're going to cut out two of them. So now I have my two squares. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of my squares and I'm going to cover one opening of the paper towel tube and you're going to fold it all down so that you're closing off the one end so that none of the rice or popcorn kernels or beans fall out of your rain stick. So you're going to push it down, be gentle so you don't rip it, and then once you have it pulled nice and tight, you're going to use your tape and you're going to tape it and make sure it's nice and secure. So now it looks like this. So my one end is completely covered, you can't see through, and it's taped all the way around. And I put a couple layers of tape so that none of the rice or beans or whatever you're using falls out of your rain stick. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your aluminum foil, and you're going to pull it till it's about 12 inches each, or so about 12 inches long or a little bit longer, and carefully tear it off. And now we're going to roll up our aluminum, aluminum foil super tight into one long stick of aluminum foil. So now it'll look just like this. Now I'm going to take that paper towel tube and I'm going to wrap my aluminum foil around the tube to create a coil. So now it'll look just like this. And then we're gonna slip this inside our paper towel tube. So now it's inside the tube. Now you're going to take your rice or your dry beans or your popcorn kernels, whatever you're using, and you're going to carefully pour them inside of the paper towel tube. So you can just use one, or I'm gonna use a little bit of popcorn kernels and a little bit of rice so that I get two different sounds inside of my rain stick. So I'm just gonna carefully pour it in. just like that. Now I'm going to take my other square of paper and I'm going to do the same thing I did on this end to the top. Now be careful because now your rice and your popcorn kernels or your dry beans are inside so you want to make sure you're not tilting it so that it doesn't pour out anywhere, everywhere. So you're going to take your square, cover it, and then you're going to tape it so it's nice and secure. So now it looks just like this. So now both sides are super secure. Now you could always just leave it just like this and you can decorate the tube while it's still brown or whatever color your paper towel tube is, 
or you can add another piece of construction paper to cover it, which is what I'm going to do now. So now I'm going to lay my paper towel tube down and I'm going to tape the end of my construction paper to the paper towel tube. And now I'm going to wrap my paper all the way around nice and tightly until the whole tube is covered in the paper. And then I'm going to cut off any excess, but make sure you leave some space that you can tape it closed. So now it'll look just like this, and then you can use your markers, your crayons, or your colored pencils to decorate it however you would like. If you want to add your favorite Bible verse to your rain stick, you can. You can add a Bible verse from the story of Noah, or you can just decorate it with some polka dots or hearts, or write that Jesus loves you on your rain stick, so you can always remember that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and decorate mine. So I wrote Jesus loves me and then I added some polka dots and then now what you're going to do is you get to test out your rain sticks. So you're going to carefully slowly pour it to one side and you'll hear the sound inside and it sounds just like rain. And that's how you make your rain stick.